Hey everybody, it's Laura with How's It Growing. And today I am doing something a little bit different and a little bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, I'm in the backyard today, as you can see, and I kind of picked the prettiest area of the yard to do this in. And today I'm going to be putting together the Lutyens Bench from Plow and Hearth. Uh, it's that classic bench style that you see in a lot of English cottage styles and a lot of gardeners, uh, you know, feature these benches in certain specific little seating nooks in their, in their gardens. And I have one that I've been showing you guys in the vegetable garden. And the plan is to have two facing each other. So one on one side and one on the other. And this is the second one. So I just wanted to do an unboxing. You can hear the real sounds of life around and dogs barking and, and neighbors and things like that. The Lutyens bench was designed by Sir Edwin Lutyens and he was an architect, but it's just a classic style and a classic bench. And I'm going to really appreciate having this look and style. Uh, I love the cottage, English cottage style in my garden. So this is really going to complement that look very much. So without further ado, wish me luck you guys because I usually build things and unbox things when there's nobody looking. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I don't even know if I'm gonna need a drill, but in case I need a drill, I have one. Okay. So far so good. I managed to get it out of the box without fumbling around too much. Okay. And what's nice about this one is it folds up, it's hinged. So if you did want to kind of fold it up and store it uh, or out of the way or anything like that, this piece has hinges and it, and it uh, you know, consolidates down. Got my bag of hardware there. My husband helped me building the first one. And by help, I mean he built the first one. <laughs> well, that looks nice. Like, look at this. As I was saying, it's hinged. But you can see it's already together. You know, it looks like we're halfway there. That's pretty good. So you've got your bag of hardware here and Allen keys to put everything together. To extend the life and longevity of your furniture, we recommend off-season storage in cool, well-ventilated place. That's where the folding will come in handy. So if you do want to store this piece in your garage or in your shed in the winter months, you can just fold it on up and, and uh, store it away. Step one is installing these. I'm going to take one of the See how it opens like this? So we'll open it up. We'll take this piece and get your hardware here. And we're gonna get B is this a table on. Okay, so and the screw here and Take this little latching hinge part. That's what it looks like to me. There's a little latch and a hinge. So here's how I'm holding the piece with the curved part down on the ground. And then there are two holes, one, two, and then two holes here. So we'll line that up and I'm lining it up with this little hinge piece, this inside facing in. So I'm just gonna line up the holes here Put my screw in there and get the Allen key going. So I'm going to set this piece aside. I'm not going to need the drill. This is actually really easy. Not a lot of parts. This piece was already together. So that's good. And now I'm just going to do the same thing to this one. I've never built anything on on camera before. And I keep looking up to see that the camera is actually on because you know I'm not taking this apart and building it again. <laughs> you do need to get some elbow grease. Let me get my elbow grease out. Remove this for right now. 
There's squirrels over there, driving me nuts. And it looks like you put them in here. You lay your bench down and then you take the arm and you open it up, it's hinged, and then you just line the holes up here. try and find the nut that I think I just put down in the grass. And this is super fantastic. Ah! Found it! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I found it and I barely had to look. Thank you. I was, I was starting to sweat, guys. See that though? How cool is this? It just folds down. I'm gonna readjust the camera here for a sec. I do love how this folds up though. I think that's pretty neat. Ellen Key, they give you two. Because you're goofy like me, and you know what? I'm sure I'll find that second Allen Key when I'm mowing the lawn. So this is why you've got the two Allen Keys. For this part, both pieces are hexed. Looks pretty good. So then there are little valves you line up here and click it into place. Like a little latch. Pretty neat. I like it. The sit test. It didn't collapse, you guys, so I must have done something right. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope maybe it helps you to follow along and, and see how easy it was to build this bench. It already came pretty much assembled. Everything went together really well. Uh, my recommendation is to definitely put all of your parts on in a little bowl or a cup so that you don't lose them and misplace them in your lawn. <laughs> But I'm really going to enjoy putting this in our veggie garden where I have the other bench. And I can just imagine sitting here in the summer and taking a break with my iced tea after I pick some tomatoes or cucumbers from the vine. And I'm just really looking forward to sharing all those times with you guys. I'm at youtube.com slash how's it growing. And I would love it if you would subscribe and follow me along in my gardening journey. Much more to come, guys. Thank you so much for being here with me today.